Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to, to make this beautiful background within Cinema 4D and you're gonna need some couple things which are this white clean studio which is .c4d file I'm gonna be including in the description and also you're gonna need this uh, font so now let's get uh, to the job the first thing you're gonna need to do is to have the studio file so we're gonna open it right here so this is the studio the empty studio surrendering now so this is the background we're gonna work on so the first thing we're gonna do is to add in a text with by going to MoGraph and press Mo text I'm gonna go to object change the text to something like page as I did before change this the font to this flip flip font I don't know how to spell it I'm gonna align it to the middle I change the depth to about 60 and bring it up a little bit and zoom in and let's change the horizontal spacing to about minus 10 okay so let's go to letters and go to MoGraph effector and add random so this randomize the text and now we're gonna mess around with the settings so we're gonna change the, the y thing to about 10 and add a rotation let's just mess around with them until you get satisfying result let's mess around with this seat Till we get something interesting so I like that so let's go back to the mode text go to object and I'm just gonna decrease the spacing again we have this F file so we're gonna go to random and just Bring down the X random thing. Okay, this looks satisfying to me. So the next thing we're gonna do is to duplicate the the multex layer, and this is by holding Control and then dragging up the multex object. So let's go to caps and. Change the start cap to ferret cap. Skip it one five steps and radius. And let's bring the new text to the back a little bit. Let's do the same steps. I'm gonna change the radius to eight. And bring back the object same thing again with radius of 11 okay so now I'm gonna just add materials to the text so it looks more cool Such. so we're gonna use be using these two materials which are included in the c4d file I'm gonna put in the description so let's change the color of that to something like white to look more awesome so 
let's add y to the first object and then the blue one to the second and then the white one again and just like that so we're gonna go back to the, our default camera and this by holding control plus shift and then press Z okay it's looking good let's render it to see how that would look So this is uh, how it would look without the breaking effect. You can keep it like that, but I'm not gonna do it because I don't know. Let's let's move forward. So let's select all the text layers and right click, click and then group objects. I'm gonna change the group name to text and go to MoGraph and polyfx large polyfx to the text object text group so it is child of the text group and by having polyfx selected we're gonna go to MoGraph vector and use random again I'm gonna change the strength to about this is looking good let's turn it to see how that would look So this is the final result after rendering and now we're gonna save it to mess around with it using Photoshop so we're gonna click this yeah we're gonna have this problem so we are gonna go to edit render settings go to global illumination and go to radiance cache file and uncheck the auto save so let's try again okay I forgot also to add a path so I'm going to save and just save it in the desktop let's name it desktop okay and retry press ok and it's rendering So now it's done rendering and we have it on the desktop. Alright, so we're gonna include it in Photoshop. I just drag it. So now we have the picture included in Photoshop. So what I'm gonna do first is to add a vignette. How to do that is to go to layer, new fill layer, and select the guardian name it vignette or such ok 
okay let's have this color is black also this second one hit okay let's change the style to radial and reverse and scale it up I wanna also mess around with the guardian okay and hit okay and change the blend mode to overlay so now we have this uh, this yellow and blue colors are more I don't know visible maybe okay so let's add a curves layer let's bring that up and this down and done now you have this beautiful background for your desktop also what I forgot to mention is that you can also change the text by having all these layers selected of the text and select them all and go to object and just mess around with text like a text or I don't know whatever you want so thanks guys this is uh, all about this tutorial I hope you find it useful and see you on another tutorials thanks for watching